Hey everybody, it's Justice from Hunting USA again, and this time we are doing the card game. Um, it's from my, it's from the book I just got called "The Dangerous Books, The Dangerous Games to Play in the Dark." It's a good book. I've been reading it, seeing all different kind of challenges, and tonight we're doing the playing the card game, the, the playing card game and stuff. So right now I'm getting it set up. I have my cards. I took the jokers out, I got my salt, I got my EMS detector and my EVP recorder. So now I'm just doing is, I'm going to shuffle them and I'm going to read out the directions and then we're going to get started. Okay, so here we go. And if you can, put push the like button, turn on notifications and subscribe. So you don't miss another one because I'm gonna be doing more challenges with this book and all that, and I'm gonna put it in the hashtag or in the description. You know that it's gonna be a book and all that. It's gonna be a book challenge. So and I'm gonna go back down and do the same things with the Bloody Mary and all that stuff. See if I can get more intense stuff with out of the book than what I did before. So. We're going to try that out. So. Alright. Alright, let's put this on the side. And just to let you know, I'm not using my EMS detector because look, it's doing the same things as it did last night. It just keeps going off everywhere. Doesn't matter where it's at. So I'm just going to put it on the side for right now. Alright. Let's see. Alright. Alright. Let's see here. Alright. Select the dark room, quiet room to use your playing space. Gather your supplies. You need a standard deck of cards. Salt candle and a lighter or matches in which I got a lighter and candles and I got my salt and I got my cards and I just shuffled them and let's see and I already took the jokers out and let's see don't forget to come armed with some quite some questions this isn't a game a game you play unless you you want answers after all take your supplies with you to your playing space if well, we're doing it at night, so we're not worried about that part. Sit down, get comfortable. You can sit on the floor if you like. You can sit, you can, you, or you can, ha you can seat yourself in a chair at a table. It's totally up to you. Once you started, the candle somewhere nearby and light it and place a deck of cards in front of you face down. Scatter a dash of salt on the, on the top of the deck then shuffle the cards. Well, Okay, I gotta shuffle nine times. Okay. Face down in three rows. Okay. Let's see. Uh, and then it says to spread the cards in forms of the board. Once the game board has been arranged, ask the following questions. Is anyone willing to speak with me tonight? Hold your hand out and okay. So, alright, we'll do that one. Alright, so we'll put a dash of salt. We'll put a dash of salt. Alright, there we go. And then I will shuffle them nine times. One, two, Alright. 
Let me say what else did it say for me to do? All right, it says spread the cards form of a game board. Okay, so spread them out in three rows. Each row cont contains three pairs of cards. Okay. All right, so. All right, so I gotta go like this. game board has arranged ask the following question is anyone willing to speak with me tonight hold your hand out palm down over the card spread spend a few seconds over each of the card on the board until you find the, that one that feels right write a small amount of warmth might feel as it's rising up from the card you might simply get the, the sense that it's that is your card meant to locate the at the moment Whatever the indication is, is for you, you know, and when you're, and when you turn the card over, so it is face up, the number of the card is in sequential, take note of the suit, there's, that's where your answer lies, if the card is turned over in its heart, that means yes, someone is, someone or something is willing to speak with you, that you're cute to perceive, remove the face up, from the board and deal with the deal with the next card. Okay, but if it's an answer is no diamond, or if it's a club, it's it's a maybe. And if the answer is no, then you say goodbye and extinguish the candle. Well, we're not going to give up that much yet. Okay. All right, other than that, let's see. Alrighty, we are ready to go then. This book is very useful. Okay, this is what I'm going to do. Alright. Alright. Here we go. Alright. Put my hand out here. Is there anyone that want to speak to me tonight? Ooh, I just felt something tingling right here. Let's see if that's right. No, okay. Let's try it again. Is there anyone willing to speak with me tonight? Let's try this one. Heart says yes, okay. Good deal. All right, so I guess I take this one out and stuff. Okay. All right, let's try another one. All right, is there any is there any demons or bad spirits in the house?
He said, yes, okay. All right, is, that, is it anyone named Charlie? Felt a heat sensation. No, okay. Well, it says maybe. If it's a club, it says maybe. But if it was a, if it was a spade, it would have been no. Okay. Uh, let's see. Is it one of his friends? Yes, okay. All right. Is he coming after me? Maybe. Okay. All right. Let's try another one. All right. Did it come from the graveyard behind my house or the cemetery that I did the investigation with? No. Okay. Did I summon it from from the Ouija board out in the tent, or let's just do it that one question instead of making it more complicated than it has to be? No. Okay. Let me see. What's another question? Did I talk? Did I t summon the spirit in the cemetery? Sorry about that noise. My cats are using a litter box. Yes. Let's see one more question and we'll call it a night. Is is this spirit dangerous? Yes, okay. All right, so all right, we're going to stop with that. Because I asked my questions for tonight. How many yeses did we get? One, two, and we got two no's and one maybe, and we got three, and that's a no, or I don't know. And let's see, and we got f four yeses, five yeses. So we got two no's, one maybe, and I don't know. Okay, that's pretty good. I think that's accurate enough. And that's the cat that was using the restroom. Just to give it a light humor. His name is Scooby. Alright. Alright, I am saying goodbye to the spirits that were playing the card game with me tonight. Thank you for coming and joining me. Please 
please let um leave me alone and leave my family alone and good night goodbye and thank you for playing we'll try to play again tomorrow night a different game thank you goodbye all right i'm ending the video here make sure you turn on the make sure you turn on your notifications and send me a like i want i would like at least 50 likes for this video i'm not going up to a thousand yet but at least show me that you, that you guys are supporting me and you know following me and all that and um and also um turn on turn or turn on your notification bell so you don't miss another video and also subscribe to my channel because it really does help me out and i do check in and see if anybody does leave me any comments or does um does subscribe to my channel i even put a heart or like or whatever and if you do i'll try to put i'll try to in the beginning of the sh video i'll do some shout outs to the to the um to the people that are doing in the first hour and stuff okay thank you and you guys have a great night happy haunting and i will i'll see you on the other side